Hey everybody, Liddell Steiner here with Tillmore, and today I'm going to be going over the Sumisansui uh, overhead irrigation options that you have and how they're going to arrive to you and how you can set them up. So I'm going to first explain what we have on the table. We have the Mark 2 II and 3, and we have the R-Wide version. Both systems come in up to 100 meters or roughly 330 feet. Okay, so that's the length that you can get. You can also get them shorter if you'd like. Uh, the main difference you're going to find is both systems use a different optimal flow rate and can also cover a different amount of ground. So on the Mark II and III, the Mark II will cover about 13 feet and the Mark III about 16 feet. The R wide will cover about 22 to 32 feet, uh, depending on a couple different uh, options of, of flow rate and um, uh, pressure. The max pressure on the Mark 2 and 3 is 12 and the max pressure on the R wide is 30 psi. So there's a few kind of important little details there. Once we get more into the what comes with the system, um, you're going to find that the Mark 2 and 3 is pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, you have the basic hose that comes and also the reel. Uh, it will not come together. You're going to take out the centerpiece and add a new bobbin. Uh, for the uh, winder so they can go in. Uh, and then you're also going to find that you have the uh, pressure regulator, the filter, the adapter for the hose, and also can go directly into uh, this one right here. Okay? Uh, I did want to show you what this uh, little uh, thing is. You'll get this as well with your unit. Uh, and this is basically to help you with reducing the amount of length of hose. Okay. So let's say you buy the 200 uh, foot of hose because most of your beds are 200 feet, but some of your beds are 100 feet. Uh, you can quickly roll out 100 feet and then add this in and you're able to reduce the amount of water that doesn't go to the rest of the system. Okay? Once we get over here to the R wide, you're going to see there's a few more options that, uh, that I want to walk through with you. Uh, the reel is a little bit different. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, um, but also very quality, very nice. I did want to show you here. The bobbin that this gets rolled on, uh, it has a little bit of a notch in it that allows you, when you do roll it up, it does keep, stay tight, okay? So over here, uh, we have two options for pressure regulators. Uh, the uh, more basic one, which goes onto the hose, and if you have higher volume, you're gonna use this pressure regulator to give you the volume that you need. Uh, either one will be used with a filter. It's a little bit bigger than you can see uh, as the other one. Uh, so it gives you some uh, ability to make sure we filter out any sediment, things like that. Um, and then finally, your hookups. So going into your header lines, uh, you have different options. Both uh, you could screw into kind of a, uh, a direct screw plug, or you could tie into one of your header lines uh, with your lay flat tube as well. So there's different options available. And uh, that kind of shows you some of the things that you might find when you open up your Sumi Sansui box and help you kind of get an idea of what the components are and how they're used for. If you have more questions uh, related to specs uh, that you're wanting to understand because I didn't cover it in this video because I can't remember all of that information, uh, it is on our website. Uh, we'll have some good graphics there to help you understand different lengths, different things that you need to know to help you identify the volume of water that you have, the flow rate, the pressure, all of that important stuff that you might want to know. So again, check us out, tillmore.com. Call us if you have any questions. We're here to help. Thanks, and have a great day.